He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the field goal unit is on the field. And this one ought to be nice and easy. A 22-yard attempt. Right down the boulevard. It's good. And with that, they break the seal on the scoring. It's 3-0. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with them. Here's the return from inside his tent. Slips through the line. Oh, they no. make the stop, My and not before he wraps up My his first is. period with a huge game. Guys, LSU has the lead here. We've played one before we move on. Let's have a look at the stats. Here comes the Louisiana Tech offense back onto the field. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Quick strike complete. Stop just across the 50 at the 49-yard line. It's a pickup of 10 and a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the run, it's Weeks. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. You don't always have to run the sexy plays, right? It doesn't have to always be up-tempo and fast and spread and doing all this stuff. Sometimes you just lower your shoulder. Sometimes you just run powerfully. You get the first down, and that's all that matters. Back to throw. It's Turner. Finds his man down the middle. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And the offense here dialed up a really good zone beat. Give credit to the offensive coordinator. He called the right play at the right time. They'll throw it on first down. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. They make the stop after the catch. It's still some work to do to pick up that first down. I'll tell you, man, I love quarterbacks that have arm talent, but that can throw it accurately at the same time. And you saw all of it on that in route. He's looking for an open man on second down. It's complete. Takes it to the house. Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. And slips the running back out of the backfield. Nobody decides to cover. My man makes the play. Shows off the hands first. Got to make the catch first. Does the rest. Walks in the end zone for the touchdown. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. Gentlemen, let's take a look at what's happening in this exciting college football game. Syracuse is currently trailing. But if this young star needs a comeback today... He could join former Heisman winner Ernie Davis among the legends to wear that uniform. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to UConn. We'll circle back if anything big happens in this college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. Works his way into the traffic and picks up three to the 17. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football. You can tell. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And they sniff that draw out. When they draw you, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Kane got on the running back, got him on the ground. Fast Coming out, attacking from deep in their own end, and they're out at the 26 for the first down. And the Tigers come to the line with a new set of downs. The pull and throw off the RPO. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. The thing I like about this slot receiver, he's really intentional in his route running. The quarterback always knows exactly where he's going to be on the field. They've got great chemistry together. Quarterback on the keeper. Got the first down. Looking for more. 
And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Listen, I know you don't want to run the quarterback every play, but when you got a guy that can scoot like that, bro, you got to give him the football. You got to give him opportunities, just not too many. And it is so, so tempting, especially if, if you feel like you need a big play and you know he can get it for you. Yep, and, and I think that's why you tell him to protect himself. End the runs, slide, get down, don't take those big hits. They'll snap it from the 47 on first down. Looking to throw, it's Nussmeyer. Hines is tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Durham. Tackled immediately after the catch. IndyCar tempo as they head to the line for this third down play. Clock running. From the gun. Wants to pass. No way. Touchdown, Tiger. And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And he finds the end zone. Again. I tell you what, man. This guy's going to be a force. Look at this offense. They find different ways to get him the football, different ways to use him. Three times now, he's entered the end zone, and not even two full games yet. This dude's a playmate. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Louisiana Tech has it back, and the offense comes out ready to go to work. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play player. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. And he is stopped immediately by the big defensive lineman. Man, oh, man, the ball carrier was just shut down. And I tell you what, they need some push up front, too, right? they got to move those defensive linemen out of the way, at least create a hole so your running back has a chance. Not there. He didn't have any. Back to pass. It's Turner. Unloads to the wideout. And the pass is incomplete, but the flag flies, and there was a lot of early contact there. And the defender just way too handsy on that last play. You could see all the contact as the ball was in the air. He simply can't do it, and the referee's caught. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle. It's Williams. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Louisiana Tech pushing the tempo. He wants to throw here on second down. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. Well, tip your hat to the defense getting that incompletion because that hasn't happened often for this guy. He completed over 70% of his throws last week. He's doing it again in this game. A shot for the end zone. Let's go. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Bulldogs! And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they cover the final 29 yards with that touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. He'll bring it out. It's Hilton. And the coverage team gets the returner on the ground. Running out of time here in the first half. They're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. This will likely be the last play of the half. DBs will try to keep everything in front. 
running back searching for a hole. And he's able to get some positive yardage before he's brought down, and that'll bring us to halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Guys, who's got a better seat there in Death Valley than you? A captivating game so far. Just about set for the second half kickoff. Fielded in the end zone. It's Hilton. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. I imagine we'll see them go right back to work up top after how productive that passing game was in the first half. And it's interesting. If I'm the defense and I've got the lead, they've had success throwing the football, but we're winning. I don't know that this defense changes too much of what they've done in the first half. I think they got to do a better job of pass rush. They might want to change their coverages as well because they're probably at this point expecting this offense to have to keep throwing, considering they did have success in the first half. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. To the ground with the back. At the 40, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Tigers come to the line with a fresh set of downs. He'll do it himself. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Really nice job on the defense shutting down all the options. Don't let him get into his reading phase. Go get him right now. Play sound. And more importantly, tackle him and get him on the ground. Here comes the offense on second down. To the air. It's Nussmeyer. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. No. Oh, and they get the ball back, but that's just going to make it much tougher on this drive. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get them. You're crawling. You're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, you'll have to turn it loose deep got his man to the left chopping up this defense and they've got it all the way down to the 23 lsu right back to the line man this offense is so dangerous reese they've got dudes all over the field that can make plays there's a big gainer in the pass game you get a chunk of yards like that now the defense is really on its heels Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one regardless. On second down, just keeps firing. That pressure got to him, and he just had to chuck it out of bounds. Couldn't pick it up on second down. Now they need a couple on third down. To the ground to try to move the chains. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. He got it. After putting up the field goal, they're set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Here comes the Louisiana Tech offense back onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drop. And once you get the defense on their heels and you back them off a little bit, you get in a little bit of rhythm, it's really hard to stop Jesse, and they're going to try to do it again right here. And if you're this play caller, you're loving what's happening right now because everything you dialed up on that last drive ended up working out. You're just looking at your play sheet. Everything you're picking is working. Let's see if they can pull it off again here. The quarterback needs to make a better throw there, incomplete. Well, on that incompletion, the quarterback and receiver just not on the same page. I mean, that wasn't even close. Now on second down. 
He's got him this time. They make the stop, but the sweet pulling catch is plenty to give him a first down. A new set of downs after the completion. The run to the left. Still on his feet at the 45. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he's brought down after a nice game. First. Always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. They'll go to the ground. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. It is getting loud as this crowd tries to help its defense. Going to the run. It's Weeks. Drives into the defense, and they get him down after a pickup of three to the 16. This crowd knows when to bring it. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Snags it over the middle. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. That was a nice pickup running the drag route and finding that quiet, soft spot in the zone. Yeah, drag routes not only work against man coverage, they work against zone, too. If you can find the soft spot, the quarterback gets it to him early, he can turn up field. You saw that right there. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Scanning the field, it's Turner. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Louisiana Tech! Touchdown, Louisiana Tech. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long. A step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Bayou Bengals will run the offense out onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And LSU starting to get that passing attack cranked up. And this is a unit that typically LSU is as good as they are at quarterback. We know they're going to be physical. We know they got athletes all over the field. But when they get really good quarterback play, those teams are really special. The option look. Now the pitch. And that one will go and reverse the defense all over that pitch on the option. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. And the pass falls incomplete. That's how we'll wrap up the third quarter of play. But now, time for the fourth quarter. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. A third down play to get the quarter started. Dropping back, it's Nussmeyer. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn up field for a big gainer. 
Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Louisiana Tech has it back, and the offense comes out ready to go to work. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now on this offense, too, David. I think... their playmakers and get these guys going in the game. No doubt. Find those plays. Those plays you know you can run them in your sleep. You make sure you execute. Build this lead a little bit bigger. Put this thing away in the fourth quarter. And they take another look at the play but the officials on the field were right and the play will stand. After that big gainer to open things up they'll put it in play from the 40. Takes the handoff. It's Weeks. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. At this point of the game, the offense has the lead, and the offensive coordinator knows they want to keep running the football. So he's going back. He's looking at his playlist, and he's saying, which runs work the best for me in this game? What can I lean on right here to make sure we win this one? He almost had the pick, and that could have given them a boost. Instead, it'll be third down. In the last couple weeks, man, you're getting a lot of consistency from this QB. And you got to love it as a play caller, man. You can drop him back. You can throw the ball a ton. You can trust him. Getting the ball to different wide receivers. He's really in a good groove the last couple games. Lost one deep down the right side. And they can't hook up on the big play. And that brings up a fourth down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football, maybe take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. Here's the fair catch, and he'll make it close to the 20-yard line. LSU will dive into the playbook here on offense. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you in less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. He'll keep it himself. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go option, but the linebacker shows his open field tackling ability and also his recognition. He expected the quarterback to keep it, went after and was able to make the tackle for loss. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Using his legs. It's Dura. Good job running tough and behind his pads as he gets up to the 38-yard line. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. To the air, it's Nussmeyer. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, and all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Looks as if LSU will line up to punt it away. And you make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. Here comes the Louisiana Tech offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You've got the lead. You've got the football. You've got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here.
They'll try to keep this clock moving on the ground. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Williams. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And you just get the feeling that this defense has to find a way to get off the field and get the football back at this juncture of the game, trailing late if they're going to win. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Man, it's so nice to have a guy that you can depend on. Like, this, this offense is built around him for a reason. Just a, a good running back. You can see, gets north-south, doesn't dance, picks up positive yards, breaks tackles. He's just a really good player, and that's why this offense runs through. Catch in the middle. It's Fenley. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. The Bulldogs are moving quickly down the field. The give to the back. Open space at the 25. Now he's got it all the way down to the 21-yard line, and they are threatening on first down. And listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I, I mean, I love teams that commit to the run, and when it's successful, keep running the rock. Yeah, David, I, I think this offensive line right now, they've got a lather going. They're, they're really sort of getting in the groove and flow of this game. They're just getting tremendous push at the point of attack. It seems like every single time they decide to run the ball. They've got a solid drive working, but now looking at second and 11. They'll give it to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you got the football and you got a lead, it's smash mouth. It's keep that clock running. It's ground game. So interesting now on this third down what they do next, but you got to keep that clock moving. This will be the eighth play of the drive, but a great opportunity for the defense to get off the field. The give to the tailback. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. Jesse and knock them off. Yeah, you're right, David. This team came in with something to prove, and they knew they had a national audience that was going to be paying attention to this game. What a great job going out under the lights, 